Aloe vera, it's been helping mankind for thousands of years. Alexander the Great, Cleopatra, and Christopher Columbus all knew of its benefits. And in more recent history, Gandhi, when asked how he still had so much energy, in spite of all of his fasting, said he drank aloe vera every day. Aloe vera only grows in hot, dry climates, and it likes soils rich in minerals, and its one natural enemy is frost. There are over 300 different types of aloe vera, but only five of them are known to be useful to mankind. Of those five, the most potent is Aloe barbadensis miller. It looks like a cactus, but it's actually a succulent. It's a member of the lily family. Underneath the rind of the leaf, you've got a sap system. Underneath that layer of sap is what we call a mucilage layer, or slimy layer, and in it is a very important sugar, a long-chain sugar, which we know affects our immune systems. And right in the middle is the inner core, or gel, which is where the plant stores its water. But here, it also keeps its vitamins and minerals. There are at least 75 vitamins and minerals. There are saponins, which are soapy substances. There are two different groups of enzymes. One group helps your digestion, and the other are anti-inflammatory. You have antimicrobial agents, which will kill not only bacteria, but yeasts and fungi and viruses. The action of the whole is far greater than the individual actions of the groups of substances. They sort of enhance each other.